Traditional Indigenous Knowledge in Agriculture, The Case of the Philippines Indigenous peoples have long cultivated their environments, often developing intricate agricultural systems deeply connected to their cultural values, communal traditions, and local ecosystems. In the Philippines, the agricultural wisdom of indigenous communities is reflected in practices that have sustained both their livelihoods and the environment for centuries. One of the most iconic examples is the development of terracing and irrigation systems, particularly the Bano rice terraces of the Ifugo people, which are not only a testament to engineering skill, but also reflect a deep-seated understanding of environmental balance and sustainability. The Development of Terracing and Irrigation Systems the Bano rice terraces, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, are an extraordinary feat of indigenous agricultural engineering. Built over 2,000 years ago, these terraces cover the steep mountainous regions of the northern Philippines. The Ifugo people carved these terraces by hand, using minimal tools, and constructed sophisticated irrigation systems that channel water from the forested mountaintops down through the terraces. This system, which took centuries to perfect, ensures a constant water supply, preventing soil erosion and maximizing the use of limited arable land. By following the contours of the mountains, the terraces allow water to flow naturally, supporting year-round rice cultivation despite the region's steep topography and fluctuating weather conditions. This process reflects indigenous knowledge of ecology and hydrology, passed down through generations. Collective Agricultural Practices In indigenous societies, agricultural activities are inherently communal, built around the principles of cooperation and shared responsibility. The Ifugo people, for example, operate within a socio-political system that promotes collective work, known locally as Bayanihan or Abo, collective labor. During planting and harvesting seasons, community members pool their labor to ensure the success of the terraces. Social structures are intertwined with agricultural practices, with roles clearly delineated to ensure everyone contributes to and benefits from communal efforts. The practice of collective work is not only economically beneficial but also fosters social cohesion, ensuring that the community thrives together. Decisions regarding planting, irrigation and harvest are made communally, highlighting the importance of consensus and cooperation in indigenous agricultural systems. These traditional values help maintain the harmony between the community and the land, as the indigenous peoples see themselves as stewards of the environment, responsible for its preservation for future generations. Influences on Sustainable Agriculture and Conservation The indigenous agricultural practices of the Philippines, particularly the terracing systems, continue to have significant influence on modern sustainability efforts. These methods embody the principles of conservation agriculture, which seeks to balance productivity with environmental stewardship. The communal and ecologically sensitive approach of the Ifugo people can serve as a model for addressing current global challenges, such as soil degradation, deforestation, and climate change. Today, these practices are recognized as essential components of biodiversity conservation and sustainable land management. The Bano Rice Terraces, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, remain an important cultural and environmental landmark. Despite modern pressures, including tourism and urbanization, efforts are being made to preserve both the cultural heritage and the agricultural techniques of the indigenous people. Various organizations and governments are also drawing on these indigenous practices to promote agroecology, a field that emphasizes sustainable farming methods that work with natural ecosystems. The indigenous peoples of the Philippines, particularly the Ifugo, have made significant contributions to agriculture through their traditional practices of terracing and irrigation. Their communal approach to farming and deep understanding of ecological processes continue to offer valuable lessons in sustainability and environmental conservation. The legacy of their agricultural knowledge underscores the importance of integrating indigenous wisdom into modern agricultural and environmental practices. To further explore the role of traditional indigenous knowledge in Philippine agriculture, it's essential to consider additional indigenous practices and the broader impacts of these methods on ecological resilience, crop diversity, and cultural preservation. These practices are intertwined with spirituality, biodiversity, and a symbiotic relationship with the land. Here are some additional insights into traditional indigenous agriculture in the Philippines. 
The Role of Biodiversity and Crop Diversity to rice cultivation, indigenous communities across the Philippines practice diversified farming, integrating multiple crops to enhance soil health, reduce pest infestation, and ensure food security. Crops such as root vegetables, legumes, fruits, and various leafy greens are often interplanted or rotated in ways that maintain soil fertility. This biodiversity minimizes reliance on external inputs like chemical fertilizers and pesticides, enhancing resilience against crop failure and extreme weather events. The Tagbanyua people of Palawan, for instance, practice kaingin, a form of rotational farming, which, when done sustainably, replenishes soil nutrients and fosters forest regrowth after a fallow period. Spirituality and Farming Many indigenous agricultural practices are infused with spiritual beliefs, reflecting a holistic worldview where nature, ancestors, and community are interconnected. In Ifugo culture, rituals are performed to honor the spirits of the land and to seek guidance or blessings for the harvest. These ceremonies involve specific rites led by community elders, known as mumbaki, shamans, or traditional healers, who perform offerings to appease the spirits of the mountains, water, and rice fields, such spiritual practices reflect a profound respect for the environment, emphasizing the cultural belief that humans are caretakers of the earth rather than its conquerors. The importance of indigenous seed conservation. Indigenous communities in the Philippines have long cultivated and preserved native seeds, a practice that is increasingly relevant in the face of climate change. Traditional rice varieties like Tina One, a type of heirloom rice grown in the Cordillera region, are highly adapted to the specific environmental conditions of the terraces, such as high altitude and cooler temperatures. These heirloom seeds, resistant to pests and resilient to environmental fluctuations, not only help ensure local food security, but also represent a genetic heritage that could benefit global agricultural resilience. Seed conservation practices are community-centered, with families often safeguarding these seeds and passing them down through generations. The preservation of these seeds is crucial, as they carry traits adapted to local ecosystems, potentially offering solutions to the broader issues of food security and agricultural biodiversity. Community Resilience and Adaptation to Climate Change as climate change brings about more extreme weather patterns, indigenous practices provide critical lessons in adaptability. The Ifugo's ability to adapt their irrigation and planting schedules based on seasonal observations exemplifies this resilience. For example, if rainfall patterns change, community members adjust the planting cycles or use specific water diversion techniques to manage limited water resources. This adaptive knowledge allows indigenous communities to mitigate climate impacts while preserving their way of life and agricultural productivity.